Look at our uh, Dakota Magic Casino Skycam in the Hankinson area. Seeing some sunshine there, but also seeing that breeze picking up a little bit this hour as well. That's a southerly breeze we're seeing uh, in the Hankinson area. And of course, that south breeze will be southeasterly for some, but we'll be picking up as we continue through the rest of this Thursday evening. And then Friday, tomorrow, we're expecting some more of that southeasterly wind. So east northeast right now in Fargo. So we'll say easterly or so nine miles per hour that has picked up a little bit here in the past 30 minutes. 41, though, still that air temperature below average for this time of year, about 15 degrees or so below average for uh, today. Uh, seeing those lower 40s to middle 40s toward the south where we did see some more sunshine today. Oaks 46 still at this hour. Those colder temperatures up in the northern valley, 30s for most everybody uh, at this hour toward the north. Still seeing some warm pockets, though. Roseau, Badet, lower 40s for you folks at this time. Uh, seeing the clouds really spreading across the region, and we are starting to see some of that rain and some snow moving into western North Dakota, now spreading toward Minot. So that's what we're watching for the overnight shower chance here. And big picture, we're seeing another uh, system uh, off toward off the uh, west coast. You can see the low pressure there. Uh, spinning that counterclockwise rotation, this low pressure that's going to move over the Rockies and roll from Colorado through our neck of the woods on Saturday and bring us that chance of some strong two severe storms. Here's tonight. We're starting to see some of those showers right now in western North Dakota uh, entering our western counties uh, at the 10 o'clock hour or so. You see that southeast wind continues for most everybody overnight. Now up toward the north where things are colder, still seeing a chance of some snow showers uh, where those temperatures are near freezing. So we may see some slippery spots by that morning commute tomorrow up toward the north, but pockets of rain for everybody else, uh, cold rain at that. Some areas of heavy rain are also possible here for us on Friday, especially around 10 o'clock through Lake, uh, Lakes Country up toward Thief River Falls. Those yellows and oranges indicate those pockets of heavier rain. At this point, still cold enough for just rain at this point, just a cold rain. But as we head toward the later hours on Friday, temperatures moving to the lower to middle 50s toward the south. So we could see some rumbles of thunder start to develop after dinner time off toward the south. But notice those 50s south still looking at 30s toward the north and west. So still quite a bit colder up north. May still see a few flakes flying in those colder neighborhoods tomorrow. Now here's the late hours on Friday. It's 11 o'clock. We're starting to see that warm front make its way through. That's our first round, our first chance of severe weather here. Looks to begin just after midnight on Saturday with that warm front making its way through. And you can see just warm enough those 50s near 60 south for the potential for those strong to severe storms. Of course, here's how things are looking for Saturday. This is our first alert weather day, so we'll pick this up right around midnight into Saturday. So there's, of course, that little warm front making its way through with those pockets of heavier rainfall, some storms and all hazard types are possible with damaging winds. The primary concern with some damaging hail, but an isolated tornado can't be ruled out going into our Saturday morning. So temperature south 50s up toward the north, though still 30s. We stay in the 30s pretty much all day long Saturday, so severe chances up there nil, but it's where we have those warmer temperatures south is where we could see some of those strong to severe storms. So here's 5 a.m. that uh, if you're getting out and going early on Saturday, watching out for some pockets of heavier rainfall, perhaps still some strong severe storms early on Saturday. We get a bit of a break after about 10 a.m. The look at the temperatures, how they warm so fast in the Southern Valley. Those lower 70s expected toward the south, still 30s toward the north, low 30s at that up in Rolla. So 40 degrees colder from north to south across our region. We see with that warmth, we have got a low pressure system coming through, some instability in the atmosphere, cold front making its way through. That's where we could see our second round of strong to severe storms in the evening hours on our Saturday. Again, all hazard types possible with this second round of storms as well. By 9 o'clock, though, most of those will be winding down. Still may see a few showers of storms there in far northern Minnesota. But we're watching very carefully from 2 o'clock onward on Saturday for that instability, that sun, that heat to make for some storms. Look out toward the west, though. Snow, heavy snow in western North Dakota. That cold air looks to wrap around and make things 35 degrees colder on Sunday. So we could see some rain turning to snow on Sunday. Looks like light accumulations of snow there for Sunday. Oh, boy, but good news is, Stacy, Mike, Back to near 50 by Wednesday. That should be yellow on Saturday because that's the carrot in front of our nose, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it really is, though. <laughs> yeah, it is. Thanks, Nathan. Yeah. Up next on Valley News Live at 6, how many drinks are too many? And how hard is it for local authorities to keep tabs on bars that overserve?